election. Who would benefit from an investigation of the president's political opponent? Well, presumably that the person who asked for the investigation. Who's that? If the president asked for the investigation, it would be he. Well, it's not a hypothetical, is it, sir? We just went around this track, didn't we? The president asked you about investigations. He was talking about the Bidens. When he, when he asked you about the Biden investigation, who was he seeking to benefit? He did not ask me about the Biden investigation. When he I asked you about investigations. About times, Mr. Sir, Long. sir, we just went through this. When he asked you about investigations, which we all agree now means the Bidens. We just did this about 30 seconds ago. We, we're at, it, it's a pretty simple question, isn't it? I, I, guess, I guess I'm having trouble why you can't just say. When he asked about investigations, I assumed he meant. I know what you assumed. Company. But who would benefit from an investigation of the Bidens? They're two different questions. Are I, you, I, I'm just asking you one. Who would benefit fr from an investigation of the Bidens? I assume President Trump would benefit. There we have it. See? <laughs> Didn't hurt a bit, did it? Didn't hurt a bit. But let me ask you something. Mr. Maloney. Hold on, sir. Excuse me. I've been very forthright, and I really resent what you're trying to Fair do. Fair enough. You've been very forthright. This is your third try to do so, sir. Didn't work so well the first time, did it? We had a little declaration come in after, remember that? And now we're here a third time, and we got a doozy of a statement from you this morning. There's a whole bunch of stuff you don't recall. So all due respect, sir, we appreciate your candor, but let's be really clear on what it took to get it out of you. So my question is, when the president's putting pressure on the Ukrainians, withholding a meeting, to get this investigation that you and I agree would benefit him politically, what kind, of pre what kind of position does that put the Ukrainians in, sir? A terrible position. Terrible position. Why? Why does it put them in a terrible position? Why? Well, obviously, uh, they're not uh, receiving ultimately what they thought was coming to them. And they're put in a, uh, in a position that jeopardizes their security. A position that jeopardizes their security. And they're being asked to do an investigation to help their security, essentially, that would benefit the president politically. In other words, you might say they're being asked to give him a personal benefit in exchange for an official act. Is that a fair summary? In your hypothetical, that's correct. It's not a hypothetical, sir. This is real life. Were they asked to give him a personal benefit By in exchange who? for an official act? Sir, I am not going to go around in circles with you. Please be clear about what you're asking me. My time's expired, sir. Thank you for your appearance.